Welcome to our daily devotions, Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm Pastor Poppy, God's richest blessings in Christ. The text for our meditation today, the introit for tomorrow's divine service, the 10th Sunday after Trinity, selected verses from Psalm 55. I call to God and he hears my voice. He redeems my soul in safety. Cast your burden on the Lord, and he will sustain you. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and hide not yourself from my plea for mercy. My heart is in anguish within me. The terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fear and trembling come upon me, and horror overwhelms me. But I call to God, and the Lord will save me. Glory be to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I call to God, and he hears my voice. He redeems my soul in safety. Cast your burden on the Lord, and he will sustain you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 55 is a very realistic psalm doesn't sugarcoat the problems that we have as individuals problems in our families in our societies in our world we live in a world of sin sin that is caused by evil and it is overwhelming at times at times the circumstances that we are forced to deal with Circumstances that sometimes we brought on by our own foolishness and sinfulness. Sinfulness that is brought in by the world, the devil. Something that we had no personal connection to. The consequences are real. They bite and they bite hard. What is a person to do when it seems like depression and despair is the only alternative We call out to God. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and hide not yourself from my plea. And it seems like he doesn't answer. Maybe he doesn't even notice. Maybe he doesn't care. God calls us to pray, to pray without ceasing, to bring our burdens to the Lord. And he gives us a promise that he will hear. He will hear the cries of his children. The problems that overwhelm us are real. My heart is in anguish within me. The terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fear and trembling come upon me. Horror overwhelms me. What will God do? What am I going to do without Husker football? Or it could be something much more serious. My friend, my spouse, my parent, my child has cancer, heart disease, Alzheimer's. There's nothing left to do. I am filled with despair, fear, and worry. My friend, Psalm 55 does not sugarcoat anything, but instead it teaches us what to do and where to go when our fears, our worries, the reality of sin and life overwhelms us. Cast your burden on the Lord and he will sustain you. This promise of God, Psalm 55, 22, is God's promise to you. You, whatever burdens you right now, cast your burden on the Lord. He, he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. That verse is quoted also in 1 Peter That verse is the inspiration to the great footprints poem that many of you have on your walls in your house. There are times 
when it seems like God has abandoned us. And when we look back, we see that God has not abandoned us, but he has been carrying us. He will not let us fall. He will not let the righteous fall. My friends, you're righteous. Not because you're a righteous dude. Not because you try real hard. Not because of righteous things that you have done or said or prayed or paid. You are righteous because the blood of Jesus Christ, the only righteous one, covers over you. You are righteous because God says so. You have been declared righteous, holy, just, forgiven by the bloody death and glorious resurrection of Jesus. He is righteous. And now you are righteous. And you have all the promises of God, promises that he will hear your prayers. He will answer your prayers. He may or may not remove the afflictions from you. But he promises that he will be with you every step of the way. And the ultimate victory has already been won. Death no longer has mastery over you. Christ has overcome even sin, death, and the grave for you. My friends, rejoice. And whatever burdens you, give it to the Lord. He will sustain you. Thanks be to God. Amen. We pray now the litany, Lutheran service book, page 288. Page 288. O Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. O Christ, have, have mercy. mercy. O Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. O Christ, hear, hear us. us. God the Father in heaven, have, have mercy. mercy. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have, have mercy. mercy. God the Holy Spirit, have, have mercy. mercy. Be gracious to us. Spare, Spare us, good, good Lord. Lord. Be gracious to us. Help, Help us, good, good Lord. Lord. From all sin, from all error, from all evil. From the crafts and assaults of the devil. From sudden and evil death. From pestilence and famine. From war and bloodshed. From sedition and from rebellion. From lightning and tempest from all calamity by fire and water, and from everlasting death. Good, Good Lord, Lord, deliver us. us by the mystery of your holy incarnation, by your holy nativity, by your baptism, fasting, and temptation, by your agony and bloody sweat, by your cross and passion, by your precious death and burial, by your glorious resurrection and ascension, and by the coming of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, help, help us, us, good Lord, Lord, in all time of our tribulation, in all time of our prosperity, in the hour of death, and in the day of judgment. Help us, good, good Lord. Lord. We poor sinners implore you to, to hear us, us O Lord, Lord, to rule and govern your holy Christian church to preserve all pastors and ministers of your church in the true knowledge and understanding of your wholesome word and to sustain them in holy living, to put an end to all schisms and causes of offense, to bring into the way of truth all who have erred and are deceived, to beat down Satan under our feet, to send faithful laborers into your harvest, and to accompany your word with your grace and spirit, we implore you to hear us, good Lord, to raise those who fall and to strengthen those who stand, and to comfort and help the weak-hearted and the distressed. We implore you to hear us, good Lord, to give to all peoples concord and peace, to preserve our land from discord and strife, to give our country your protection in every time of need, to direct and defend our president and all in authority, to bless and protect our magistrates and all our people, to watch over and help all who are in danger, necessity, and tribulation, to protect and guide all who travel, 
to grant all women with child and all mothers with infant children increasing happiness in their blessings, to defend all orphans and widows and provide for them, to strengthen and keep all sick persons and young children, to free those in bondage, and to have mercy on us all, we implore you to hear us, good Lord, to forgive our enemies, persecutors, and slanderers, and to tur turn their hearts, to give and preserve for our use the kindly fruits of the earth, and graciously to hear our prayers. We implore you to hear us, good Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, we implore you to hear us. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, have mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. O Christ, hear us. O Lord, have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and most merciful God, in this earthly life, we endure sufferings and death before we enter into eternal glory. Grant us grace at all times to subject ourselves to your holy will and to continue steadfast in the true faith to the end of our lives, that we may know the peace and joy of the blessed hope of the resurrection of the dead and of the glory of the world to come. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray. I thank you, my heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.